I'm gonna be brief, y'all, and I'm gonna talk briefly about technology. And um, you know, we have a lot of it. You know, we're in an age right now, in the technological age, we're in a, what we call the electrify age. Everything is, you know, everything is in the air. You know, air pollution is at an all-time high, not only with chemtrails and things of that nature, but also with information passing through with all of these Wi-Fi's and all of this stuff. We have high amounts. Of, of information passing through the airwaves and so on and so forth. But I want to talk about how, how how the social media, how just the social technology itself actually can be looked at as something that's not healthy for us. And I don't mean from the aspect of literally from your physical health because they say that if you have the phones to your ears, it can mess you, you know, go to your brain, whatever, the, the waves. But I'm not, I'm not even discussing that. I'm talking about the family structure. I'm talking about how we have relationships and how we deal, you know, because of social technology. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, for instance, you ever walk into a home, you ever walk into someone's house or even your own home? You walk in and everybody in the whole house is like this. Nobody's talking to each other. Nobody's having pertinent conversation anymore. Nobody's doing anything of that nature because everybody is tuned out, you know what I'm saying, of reality and tuned in to this, you know what I'm saying, what we call technology, smartphones and tablets and things of this nature. But these things further destroy the family structure. Like I said, it's a breakdown further. The communication is totally gone. Even the way we deal with each other. We don't even deal with each other face to face anymore. And we're in the same house. I'll text you and say, come here. How lazy is that? And so they say, yo, 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 such and such, come here. Let me, you know, and you in the house, y'all in the same house, you text them. You understand what I'm saying? So it's also creating a condition of laziness as well as dumbing you down. For instance, I didn't grow up with all of this technology. So, you know, I learned how to, to read and write and do mathematics. I learned what it was to, to use a Dewey Decimal System and to how, to how to properly look up a library book and so on and so forth. Right now, you know, kids are doing math and doing different types of things and they can't figure it out. You know what they do? They just Google the answer. They just they just go right to their little social joint, put, put, the, put the problem in and they Google the answer. See, this cuts off the ability for a person to learn how to process numbers and how to add, subtract, multiply, divide. These are the basic things that you need in society to be able to just the basics. These are basics. But social technology is destroying the basics. It's not allowing the person to be able to think for themselves. When I was growing up, I probably had on cat probably 60, 70 phone numbers on the top of my head. You understand? And I, and I still keep numbers on cat because Keeping things in memory creates neural pathways. When you are able to memorize things and keep things in memory and add more things to memory, it, it builds neural pathways because it's learning new information and you're, you're absorbing it. So what happens is, is that a lot of times we can't even remember phone numbers no more. If somebody loses their phone, their whole life is on that phone. They feel like they have lost their whole life and that phone is missing or that tablet is missing. They can't function. You know what I'm saying? They can't breathe. Yeah, you know I mean they have total breakdowns. They have they have anxiety attacks and so on and so forth. So this social technology thing is something that we have to really examine and how it's being utilized. It's also being utilized to further behavior, wicked and indecent behavior. You understand? This is children. Talk to your kids. You know what I'm saying? Taping fights and all of that type of stuff. It's not cool because all you're doing is, I understand that's what y'all do. And that's what y'all think is the proper thing to do. This is how you get your, you know, this is how you build up your own little, you know, your own little stripes or your own little crew or your clique or your own reputation. You're trying to big it up by taping yourself, beating someone up or having someone tape you. But actually, you're going to jail for that. You're not even using your common sense. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you put your hands on someone. You understand? And it's on film, you know, you're guilty. So you're not even using the social media to the point that it benefits you. You understand? It's actually causing you danger. So when we look at social technology from different perspectives, you know, there's the good things about it, but who's really checking the bad things about it? Who's really checking what it does inside of the home and how it affects an individual? You understand? To, to, to utilize their social technology to the point where they don't even want you to hold their own phone. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, yo, can I hold your phone right quick? My phone is dead. I need to... Nah. They, they guard the phone more more than they guard their own children. You understand what I'm saying? You know how many accidents kids have had because parents are neglecting them because they're doing this? They're not paying them no attention? So we got to begin to look at this social thing and we got to begin to wonder how far are we going to let the social technology further destroy us? And who's going to be able to check us 
when we're allowing this social technology to continue to destroy us because you know everything has pros and cons and we have to weigh that we have to weigh the balance for pros and cons. We have to see what's what. We have to weigh and, and, and take a look at it and see if it's healthy for us. Now we're in a technological age. We're not these things aren't going anywhere. But what can happen is is we can be more careful in how we utilize these things and how we allow our children to utilize them and how we are affected by these objects. These tools, you know what I'm saying, that are also used for surveillance and so on and so forth. So we have to be careful about social technology. Yeah, it has its good benefits, but it also has its bad benefits. And on that note, everything has good and bad. And I wanted to weigh the opposite, you understand? Because we all, we, we talk about the, the good things about social technology, but there's a lot of things that's wrong with it. And nobody wants to discuss it. And nobody talks about it because... Nobody talks about it, but you know me, I talk about the strangest things in the world. They just pop in my head, so I just do the video. So this is just what happened to me. I just did the video because this just popped in my, in, into my head about, yo, social technology got a lot of things wrong with it. So I just turned on this phone and just to share with you some of those things that I feel wrong with social technology. Peace.